Hey guys, today I'm here with the September Art of Organics box, um, which is a very special collaboration between Art of Organics and actually Laurel Whole Plant Organics as well. Um, they teamed up together to do this box as well as do something that they're calling the Brighton Challenge, where they encourage you to create a personalized Brighton Challenge depending on your skin's needs and the amount of time you have to dedicate to your daily and weekly skin rituals. Uh, my original intention was to do this uh, over the course of a month because I did get the box relatively early, earlier than I usually get the Art of Organics boxes. Actually, usually I get them after you guys do, um, but I'm hoping that that's gonna be different in the months to come and that I should be getting them a little bit sooner so that way I can do more of a review for you guys than I have been doing. Um, so the original intention was for me to do to use this over the course of a month and to show you the difference in my skin um, from one from the beginning of the month to the end of the month, but I ended up testing another line of skincare for three weeks, um, solely just that skincare. So that sort of put a few other projects that I was working on on the back burner. So instead, what I'm going to do is sort of like a rendition of my mask and chat uh, that I, you guys have seen before on my channel, except it's just going to be a one-time uh, deal where I show you guys how to apply the mask, I show you my skin before, I show you my skin after, and we'll see if it really does work to brighten instantly. Um, I actually kind of hope it does because I've been on vacation. I, my, my face did get kind of darker because we were out in the sun a lot. I do feel like it's kind of dull a little bit and I could use some like real brightening of my skin. So I'm really, really excited to show you guys the box this month. I'm really excited to tell you about it. I'm really excited to do it with you. So let's just get right into it. So. When you receive the box, if you do subscribe to Art of Organics, it'll give you a card all about the Brighton Challenge. There is a video that Laurel created specially for this box and for this challenge, where it's a how-to with tips and tricks and when to use the Brighton mask. And then you can develop your own customized ritual, um, whether it be a couple of times a week, whether it be once a week, whether it be you know once every other week, whatever works for you, whatever, whatever you know your skin needs. Mm -hmm. Um, and then document your skin before and after and share your experience with the Brighton Challenge using a few special hashtags. So I'm really excited for people to get this box and to do the Brighton Challenge. I'll definitely be posting my before and after shots that we do right here um, on my Instagram as part of the challenge. I hope that you guys are as excited as I am to see Laurel in the Art of Organics box. So getting into what is actually in the box for the challenge this month and for the box this month, it is a full facial kit for you to do their mask. So the mask that we're getting um, for the box is the Brighten Mask, which is their repairing, firming, and brightening mask. It's perfect for mature, sun damaged, or scarred skin uh, due to its high vitamin C content. Um, so it's got Camu Camu, Rosehip Fruit, Acerola Berry, Gatu Cola, uh, Calendula, Comfrey, Orange Peel, Essential Oils of Frankincense, Carrot Seed, Lemon, Citrus, Sweet Orange, um, and that's actually it. So it is uh, like an orange. I did wear a yellow shirt to sort of signify the Brighton Challenge. <laughs> I, I like to match what I'm doing in my videos. I'm, <laughs> it's fun. And I, I have um, some skincare that I'm going to use afterwards that I sort of matched and tailored to this box as well. So it is an orange color. It's very vibrant. It almost is like yellowy orange. Actually, it really kind of sort of matches my shirt like almost exactly. Well, maybe not exactly. This is more mustard. This is like a darker mustard. <laughs> this is like yellow French's mustard. This is like, you know, real Dijon mustard coloring anyway. And it has a very fruity, very like citrusy, just bright scent. So I'm very excited. It's full to the brim, as you can see. Um, it's right at the edge. And then also what comes in the box is a mixing bowl and a little fan brush to apply it. So here is the little fan brush. So I've never actually used one of these style of brushes to apply the mask, so we'll have to see how that goes. And I'm sorry, Oliver's getting into the things that I brought in here. <laughs> Such a nerd. So the mask is actually a $72 value, and the brush and the bowl are a $44 value if you would buy them on like the Laurel website on your own. So the box this month is actually worth $116, which is fantastic. The price of the box is only $39 a month. You can purchase a one-time box. It's a little bit more expensive. Um, I'm going to leave the link to subscribe and to the one-time box down below just in case you're interested. So we're just going to get right on into applying the mask. So here is my skin before. So this mask works to noticeably brighten, repair, and firm tired skin 
featuring organic and sustainably farmed camu camu, acerola berry, and rosehip fruit for their high amounts of vitamin A, C, and E. These whole plant vitamins are recognized and utilized even more by the skin than commercial ascorbic acid or other synthetic imitations of vitamin C. Shown to repair damaged DNA and sun damage, uh, vitamin C can reduce hyperpigmentation over time, restore collagen, and increase firmness. And I actually, I feel like my, my melasma sort of like kicked into high gear again because I was out in the sun, which was stupid. I should have bought a hat. Um, being out in New York for, you know, the couple of days that we were walking around the city, I feel like my melasma is just like as bad as it was a couple of months ago. I don't know. That's just my opinion. But I feel like my face in general is just really dark. Um, I put makeup on a couple of times since we've been back from New York and I just, my makeup doesn't match me anymore. <laughs> and I'm like freaking out a little bit because I need to do something about the darkness of my skin. So the mask here we've got here, we're going to mix a little bit of the mask with an equal amount of water and then we're going to apply it to the skin. So again, here's the mask. So, and it says mix a teaspoon with a teaspoon of water. I probably have a little bit more than a teaspoon. I tend to do a little bit extra. I feel like I have a big face. Uh. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually add aloe, um, aloe water instead of just, you know, regular water. This is what I tend to use when I mix um, most of my masks. So I'm just gonna pull my hair back and then we're going to apply with the little fan brush. So it's a, like a darker, like whole grain mustardy <laughs> color. I don't, I don't know why I got mustard on the brain. Using the brush, I feel like definitely gives you like a thinner application. This brush specifically, I'm, I, like if you use like a regular brush, um, like a foundation style flat, like a flat foundation style brush, I feel like um, it would almost give you like a thicker. So I'm just going to do it mainly in the parts of my face that I need the most like brightening. So like my forehead, my cheeks. I'm gonna skip my nose probably actually. I don't feel like my nose needs a ton of brightening. So and then we're gonna leave this on for about 10 to 15 minutes until it dries and then we will be back to, or I will be back. <laughs> you will stay right there. And then, <laughs> Oliver's laughing. We will remove it and see, and hopefully we'll have some brightening effect. And even if we don't see like an immediate brightening effect, I can definitely feel it sort of like working on my skin. I can feel like a tingling um, from like the vitamin C and things that are in here. But this would definitely be one that I would incorporate into my routine um, for like a brightening. When I feel like I need a brightening, this would be one that I would add in there. So what I actually should have done is mixed in a couple of drops of the Sun Damage Repair Serum, which I'm actually going to use um, as like my moisturizer after I'm done with the mask and the rest of my skincare. Um, but what they do suggest using is add one to two drops of the serum to prevent the mask from drying entirely. So instead what I'm gonna be doing, since I can't do that right now obviously, I'm just gonna spray my face with the aloe every couple of minutes if I feel it sort of getting a little bit tighter. Uh, but that's definitely a tip that you could do. If you have the Sun Damage Repair Serum or if you've got another serum high in vitamin C, um, definitely you can add this in as well to sort of like boost the mask and boost its brightening properties. I'll definitely be doing that the next time I do this mask. So I'm looking forward to the next time that I do it actually because I do, I wish I had done that this time around. But it is good to sort of do it one time to see how the mask works on its own before you add anything else in there to sort of also boost the brightening properties of it. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Um, 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 20, we'll see. Um, and then we'll see what it looks like once I wash it off. Okay, so it's getting near the end of the day. <laughs> I think I've had this on about 20 minutes. I can't, I'm not, I didn't time it or anything. Usually I would like to let it sit for like a lot longer because I like to leave masks on for a pretty long time, like as long as possible really. Um, but I don't want to lose the light. Um, so I'm going to just take a washcloth and wipe it off my face. So my skin is a bit red as I remove this because I did uh, let it dry. Probably a little bit too much in the last couple of minutes. So 
so I'll probably just let it sit for a couple of minutes before we um, do the full after so we could see the um, the full brightening of the mask. Okay, so here is the full after. I mean, I don't feel a significant brightening. Like, I don't see, like, a tremendous amount of brightening. But I do feel like it did brighten a little bit. My skin is definitely smoother. Um, so I'm really, really going to enjoy incorporating this as, like, my brightening mask for the next couple of weeks. And maybe I'll even, like, post, like, another after picture after I've used this a few more times. Um, at the end of the month like with all of you guys after you get the box and sort of like we can do the brightening challenge together since I've started it a little bit later than I intended but I do like the mask I do think that over time it will brighten the face um, more given the ingredients that are in it and it just feels really potent so to finish I'm just going to do a few more steps um, these are not things that are coming in the box but they're just things that I had that I felt like would work well with the mask I'm gonna use the Leolani citrus and citrine regenerating toner since it's orange and citrus based which the mask is um, and then I'm also going to mix together a pump of the La Bella Figura crema supernova vitamin crema supernova vitamin c luminous day cream so with more vitamin c plus the laurel sun damage repair serum so i'm getting like an extra boost of brightening so i do also think that adding in um, another vitamin c step as well as the brightening mask um, so like another oil or day cream or something like that will help the uh, brightening effect of the mask itself and I've used the Sun Damage Repair Serum for a few weeks um, on its own before. I haven't used it in a while because, like I said, I was testing another line of skincare. Um, and I have seen uh, great results with hyperpigmentation and things like that when used over a longer period of time. So I definitely will incorporate these brightening things into my routine for the next couple of weeks. Then we'll sort of see in a couple of weeks if we notice a more of a brightening difference so i will keep you guys updated i'll post a before and after picture on instagram at some point let me know if you're going to be picking up this art of organics box this month featuring laurel it's a really exciting one i do think it's one that you guys would enjoy especially if you love brightening products um, and even like slightly exfoliating products as it definitely did exfoliate my skin a little bit because of the whole plants and stuff that are in it, it it's not like a super finely milled powder so I really like this. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one.